Hello Taurus, this is your July general reading and we will cover whatever comes up. If love comes up, it will be a love reading. If not, it will be a general reading about all aspects of your life, what's coming, what's going, what you want, what you're manifesting, and everything you need to know. So let's see, we have the Page of Wands. That is, you find yourself in the current energy of the Page of Wands, which is kind of looking into things. You're being sort of secretive, very covert, sort of close to your chest. You're not really telling anybody anything, but it does look like you want to throw caution to the wind in regard to something. The Hierophant card, you're very traditional in your beliefs. What you want right now, you need stability. If you are looking for a job, and many of you may be with the Page of Wands, it looks as though your, your search is going to be restricted by the desire to have good insurance, to work with a sort of a name brand corporation, so to speak. Whenever I see a new job coming in with the Hierophant, I can almost always be assured a client will have a job with, you know, a company who has great benefits. They might have a retirement program. They have overtime. It's very structured. It's an institution. It's an environment in which you really know what the rules are going in. It's very, very well organized. Kind of old-fashioned. Um, usually big corporations is how I see that card. Um, and in the recent past, we have the energy of the Nine of Cups. A lot of happiness here for you. Some Pisces energy. Eat, drink, and be merry. So Taurus, you're staying balanced. I like the Cancerian energy for you. You feel very sentimental at this time. You're enjoying your family. You're enjoying the people around you. You've had good times with good friends lately. The King of Pentacles is a focus on your security, and there you are, Taurus, in your reading. You are very focused on creating what you want, creating something new, creating something lasting. So you're very focused on your security at this time, and you're an earth sign, so that's a natural. The Four of Pentacles says that you're watching your money, you're really not spending money, you're saving as much as you can. Um, you're really not also involving yourself in situations where you're going to have a money drain. And what I mean by that is when you go out with friends, it looks as though you know exactly how you're splitting the bill. You know exactly what everything is going to cost. You know, if you have friends over for dinner, you'll be budget-minded and yet you'll have something scrumptious. It'll be delicious. Four of Wands energy is coming here as you moving into your future. So I have Hierophant and now the Four of Wands. Both of those are marriage energies. Some of you may be in the process of getting married. You may be married. You're planning on a marriage. Um, but it does look like that's a huge focus. Security, stability, keeping everything uh, really running very well. The Queen of Cups energy. Beautiful, again, Cancerian energy here. So it really speaks to the fact that around you are many people that love you, Taurus. You're in a very beautiful, July is going to be beautiful for you. Let's see what else we have. The Nine of Cups, you are hoping for some romance. You want somebody who's very tender, very loving. You know, you're fantasizing about someone who, and you might be checking them out on social media, but you have your eyes and your heart is open for love. Queen of Wands energy, that is the Aries Queen. And what we see, the Aries, Aries, and the Aries Queen is the sharp end of the spear. You are taking action. You are going out. You are enjoying yourself. You're having fun. But you have a master plan, and you fully plan on having a great month. It looks as though your stability is off the charts. Be right back. So why do we have the Page of Wands here? What is it that you're looking at, thinking about? researching you know pages are doing detective work right ace of wands is looking for a message from sort of unusual spaces the two commas next to them so we have the queen of swords so you want to be very balanced about something that's libra energy for some of you you may be looking at buying a home because we have the four of wands for those of you who are getting married you're really looking at contracts and how you can have a party and still save money. I feel like that's going to be true for some of you. But also just really saving money for a rainy day, saving for a home, saving for a wedding, saving for even a child's wedding could be coming into play now. Why do we have the high priestess here, Spirit? Ten of Wands, okay. 
So the High Priestess is very interesting because when you look at this card, we see the energy that the High Priestess is, she's very emotional. This is Cancer and energy. Ten of Wands, you've been very emotional about something that's been going on in your life, somebody who's close to you, somebody who may be struggling right now and carrying a very, very, very heavy burden, Taurus. So the High Priestess is also kind of like a healer, right? Somebody who is everyone looks to for answers. So I feel as though the people around you are going to look to you for how to solve whatever burden is presenting itself in your life as a family collective is how it's coming up. Because you're the High Priestess. You're like the head of the family. You're the person who's wise that everybody goes to to ask questions. What do we do about X, Y, or Z? That's what we see here now. The Hierophant card, Page of Wands, Page of Wands, Page of Wands. So there is a part of you, I think for many of you, you would like to be married. For many of you who might not be married now and have been married before, I think that there's a lot of curiosity about whether you will have that relationship you want again. I think you are searching for it. I think you're open to it. You're willing to throw caution to the winds. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Ace of Coins, good for you. So you're very happy. There's something about your uh, monetary, uh, your, just your abundance right now. What we're seeing is that you're pretty happy in your work. You, when you go to work, you seem to joke around. It seems to be a good environment for most of you. Uh, if not, this could be investing in something with friends or investing in friends themselves. But real joyful energy, new beginnings. A friend that is a friend now could become also a romantic partner in the future. So let's see what we have for this beautiful King of Pentacles energy that is you, Taurus. Why is it King of Pentacles energy? Now, the crown, the crowning card is the best that can be achieved. It is an outcome card, and it tells us that you are really stability-oriented and that you are in a situation where you, you've had some difficulties in the past. There's been someone around you that's been very unfair, either in the workplace. Somebody has been a thorn in your side. The King of Cups energy is also shows that you're very emotionally attached. Um, you, you know, your attitude very much, Taurus, is don't take what's mine. You know, I've worked hard for it. It'll be the end of a relationship. So you're manifesting, you're building your wealth, and anybody who comes and tries to really interject themselves into your life or anybody who causes you undue concern, worry, chaos, difficulty, I see you keeping to yourself and just simply ignoring them. You put yourself behind this fence. You're like, yeah, I'm over here. I'm fine. All is well with me. The Four of Pentacles energy, again, speaks to the fact that you're just, you're going to hold back. The Four of Pentacles is clarified by the beautiful Ten of Cups. It's a beautiful family life. You're saving. It looks like you're also saving for gifts for the holidays. I know that seems a little bit advanced, but, you know, Taurus, you, the Ten of Cups energy is Pisces energy, and it just is all about your own happiness. Right now, there's something going on that is not fair in your life. You're not getting justice in some area of your life, and I feel as though a family member may need more than their fair share or more than their contribution to your time and attention. So why do we have you holding back and the justice is reversed? Yeah, Four of Cups. You've lost interest in someone or an energy that has been not really very fair to you. You know, you're making the decision to give your love, give your affection, give your time to the people who bring those things to you. Why is the justice reversed here? Why is justice reversed? Page of Pentacles. Okay. So somebody thought that they, it, somebody immature really thought that they could come in and horn in on you and and I feel as though sort of not be so nice to you, point their sword at you with the Five of Swords energy and you know, you're just sort of bypassing them. It's almost like you're leapfrogging over this person. They are nothing but a speck 
in your life. They are meaningless in your life. So we see the King of Pentacles energy again. Wow, Taurus, you're so focused on your home life, on your marriage, on your intimate relationships, on creating stability. Till death do us part kinds of stability. You are really, you're very powerful in the month of July. The Three of Wands speaks to the fact that you know who you love, you want them to uh, be in your life in a much more stable way. You're creating a future for yourself in a relationship. Uh, also looking out for family. Very, very oriented to your emotions this month. We see the High Priestess reversed. You're not very intuitive at this time. It really speaks to the fact that you may go against your intuition in some sort of romantic matter. I would say you probably, let's see what else we have. What about this romantic matter? The moon. Okay. So, Taurus, if you're really looking at stepping outside the boundaries of a relationship and you're looking for something secretive with the moon here or you're texting somebody who's secretive, I would say that it's ill-advised. I would say that that will come to light because we have justice reversed. So I feel as though you're going to cause problems for yourself if you don't stay in the stable energy because everybody wants romance. When we get that moon and that justice reversed, you are looking at something that could be very tricky at best. Your outcome card is the Queen of Wands, feeling in your power, moving forward, being happy. The Nine of Cups again, you are so happy. You may be involved with an Aries or an Aries Queen or King, whatever, but this is the Aries Queen. Um, there's no gender in tarot, but look at how beautiful this is. The Nine of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Taurus, you are having a great time. Let's look and see what the destiny um, the Sacred Destiny card cards have in store for you. Let's see what the wrap-up of this reading is about. Delightful energy, Taurus. I just think that you're going to enjoy yourself. Wisdom, good. You have the wisdom to keep yourself out of trouble. Good news there. We also have pleasure. So your pleasure, well, you know, Taurus, you're sensual. Taurus is a very, very earthy, sensual planet. You know, you like everything that tastes good, feels good. You like great linens on your bed. You like a walk in the park. You like fresh flowers, good food, everything beautiful. Diligence. You are really working diligently on a new beginning. You will have great success. You're showing a lot of leadership, which is what I saw. People are looking to you for answers. And after that, you are relaxing, Taurus. Beautiful, beautiful reading for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoy the month. Hope this was helpful. Sending you love. Bye-bye.